Let's solve part C now. So suppose that the government decides to provide university education for free. So the subsidy is $20 per unit. What does that mean? It means that it covers the entire price of education. So the consumers, the students pay zero. Now calculate the efficiency, gain or loss that arises if university education is provided for free compared to the case where there is no government intervention, meaning that the university would decide privately how much to offer. Okay, let's do it in this video. Uh, with free education next one we'll do it with uh, private provision and we'll compare and we'll do so on a graph because it's gonna make more sense so what do we have we have relationship between dollars and the quantity of education provided man those lines are straight uh, now what else do we have we have the marginal benefit a hundred minus 2q so we have over here the intercept of a hundred and the quantity intercept is gonna be 50 so we connect those two dots and we'll have the marginal the marginal benefit what else do we have we have the marginal external benefit so the marginal external benefit that's 25 minus a half times the quantity meaning that the intercept will be over here 25 and the quantity intercept will be equal to 50 again so we'll connect these two dots and that gives us marginal external benefit marginal external benefit and because the subsidy is 20 per units the marginal cost of education for the university is going to be zero, which is also the price for the students. So the students are going to consume 50 units of education. This is the intersection between the marginal benefit and the marginal cost, so to speak. That will be the 50. So 50 units of education over here. But we do have a subsidy and the subsidy is $20, $20 for these 50 units of education. So these ones over here, this is the subsidy, this rectangle. Now, what is going to be the efficiency? By the way, we're solving for free education. This is the case for free education, and we're looking for efficiency. Well, efficiency is the sum of the gains and losses, of the benefits and the costs, so to speak. What are the benefits here? Who benefits from this? Well, we have consumer's benefit, aka consumer surplus, and we know that it's gonna be the area underneath the marginal benefit curve. So it's going to be, let me just change colors real quick, like that this one over here this is going to be our consumer surplus let's write it right away that's the area of the triangle which is a half times the height of a hundred and the length of 50 so 100 times 50 that's 5000 divided by 2 that's 2500 that's a positive now what else do we have we have external benefits right we have external benefits and the external benefits is going to be the area underneath the marginal external benefit. So this area over here, this area over here, this triangle is going to be the external benefits. This is going to be our external benefits. Now let's calculate that as well. The external benefits is also a triangle, which is a half times this height, which is 25 multiplied with this length of 50. So 25 times 50 divided by two. Well, 50 divided by 2, that's 25. 25 times 25, that's 625. So that's one more gain. And what is the cost? What, what is the cost? Who has to pay for all that? Well, this comes from the government. So the cost from the government is going to be the area of this rectangle. Which I'm going to slightly shade it to show it as well. This is the subsidy cost. This is the subsidy cost. So the subsidy cost is going to be equal to 20 times 50. So $20 for 50 units, that's a thousand cost. So let's, me, let, let's put here some uh, pluses and minuses to show what we gain, what we lose. This is positive, positive and negative. Now, what do we have? Let's see. Let's see. We have the following. We have efficiency. We have efficiency equal to efficiency equal to the benefit of 2500, 2500 plus another benefit of 625 and a cost of a, a cost of a thousand minus a thousand now what's that well if we work this out that's equal to an efficiency of two thousand one hundred and twenty five dollars now this is it for this case in the next video we'll solve under the private provision and compare which one is better